Right. Back at it like Craftmatic. What's going on, people? Want to take a little time out to give a shout out and a, and a, and a rest in peace to a, a, a friend, a, a former teammate, the late great Tony Saragusa, better known as Goose. Uh, had the opportunity to uh, uh, be on the sideline because I wasn't playing, but on the sideline and the witness and play, and also to prepare for him. Um, you know, the week of the game when he was with the Baltimore Ravens and I was with the New England Patriots. So um, uh, just a very fun, loving guy, man, and just one of those guys, man, that you're not going to move, that you got a triple team. And, you know, we all know about the Ray Lewis and, 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 that, and the Bart Scotts and those guys that played linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens. And the reason why those guys were so good and was able to run around was because of – uh, Tony Saragusa and him plugging up that middle and, and commanding that double team and triple team at all times. So definitely one of my uh, heartfelt uh, goes out to his family and his close, close friends, man. Um, Tony Saragusa, just a, a really, really good person and a great football player. Uh, and like that, we are back. And coming up next, we're going to have one of my guys, one of my all-time favorite, 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 favorite guys, uh, at the running back position, the great LeBrandon Tofield. So we'll be back on where my dog's at.
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The tow truck will be in the building here soon. 2001 first team all SEC. SEC player of the week versus Arkansas. 2000 freshman all American. Hey, finished his career at LSU with 2,149 yards, 26 touchdowns on 511 carries. But let me tell you something. All the stats in the world will not, cannot tell you what's in a man's heart. And it cannot tell you what's in a man's chest. But I'm a, he gonna be able to tell us himself because I'm gonna tell you, I've been in a lot of football games with this dynamic running back uh, coming off of injuries. Um, I know what's in his heart and what's in his chest, but we are gonna hear from him himself. No, no uh, none other than the great LeBrandon, LeBrandon Tofield. Where we at, baby? This is him with the, the, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, that's who he was drafted to in the fourth round. So we both went in the fourth round, actually. We got him on the phone yet? So where you at, baby? I'm here, baby. You can't hear me? Nah, I couldn't hear you. I can hear you now, dog. I'm sitting here looking at your highlights uh, when you was in Jacksonville with that 22 on, uh, man, I, 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 we missed you when you, was, when you was in studio. I ain't wake you up. That was my bad dog. Oh, uh, it's I'm all a, good, I'm brother. A, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take that one, you know. It, it's all I'm good, take, brother. I had that do say ready for us though, dog. <laughs> I had that do say ready, bro. How you been, man? I'm good, man. I'm out here in Florida, man. Just enjoying life, bro. Raising my two boys. That's it, bro. Hey, and, and it was, you know, I, I tell people all the time, man, everybody come on the show, like, y'all, are, we are really, like, you know, I, I, I fuck with y'all. Like, you, you, you my guy. And it was wonderful to see you, bro. Like, when we was out there on the Winter World a couple months back or so, we was out there for that 707. It was good to see you, man, and, to, and, to, and then for you to come out and to be a part of my uh, birthday party, dude, at the, um, when we had a little dinner. So, yeah. always, man, a pleasure talking to you. But look, we're going to take this shit back to, back to high school, man. Let's take uh, okay. it back to high school real quick. I hope I can remember some things, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I know it was a lot of sticks ago. I know, I know it was a long time ago, but let's see if we can yeah. remember that. Now, I remember hearing about the Brandon Tofield that you, and you could set the record straight, let me know that you weren't even, uh, at the time when I was hearing about you, everybody was telling me about your brother. That's right, that's right. He'll, he'll tell you, if you start talking about me in front of him, he'll start talking about him. <laughs> 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 you know, look, bro, that, hey, you know what, bro? That, that's where I get it from, bro. I watched my brothers play, you know, and my dream wasn't even to even go to college or to go to the NFL. I just wanted to play high school ball like them because the high school ball was so famous where I'm from. You know, you got Independence, Amy, Hammond, Pochettula, all the schools right there in one yeah. area. So my, I just wanted to play high school ball. That was it. And, then, you know, I turned out to be pretty good and was able to go to college, but that wasn't even in the plan. So imagine, so at what point, like why you was doing all this and like you say you just wanted to play high school ball at what point did you say you know what shit i could go to college and and possibly make some money from this shit uh i guess around my when i got to high school my freshman year when i got there and actually started as a freshman on the varsity you know i didn't play running back Mm -hmm. i played i started corner a lot of people don't know that i started corner and was all state honorable mention as corner. I was all district and everything. Only had two passes called on me the whole year. And you know, after you know, after that year and listening to the coaches telling me how special I am and you're gonna be like your brother, better than your brother, such and such. So you know, I, so I started taking it a little serious after that, bro. Hey, was Bags the coach from the was Bags your coach from the beginning? Yes, sir. Bags coached me and my brothers. Oh, I saw Bags too, dog. Like a couple weekends ago, out at LSU camp, I was talking about 
I was talking to Bags about you. Bags say you better not say nothing in front of any. Nobody better not say nothing about me in front of Tofu. He gonna slap the hell out of him. I said, hey, that's, I, said, I believe you. I fuck with Bags though. That's pops, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fool with Bags, man. You know that's he connected too tough. He got to fool with Bags. So once you Bro. found that out and you was like, damn, I could do something. Let me ask you this: You remember who your first? uh college letter was because I, I remember mine mine was from mine was actually for basketball from stetson university that was my okay. first letter was for basketball you remember your first letter i yeah i think it was from tulane it was uh okay. tulane right, okay. they was they was on me hard uh and actually my my second letter was from like it was different sport like it was for baseball it was from oklahoma state yeah i remember you was a monster baseball player so you figured yep, out yep. you was gonna go. You did this. Now you, I remember you. You injured yourself. You tore your ACL. You tore your ACL, yeah. right? That was what your sophomore year in high school. That was no. That was after my junior year spring yeah, ball. That's right. That's right. So you didn't play your senior year. Yep, didn't play at all. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So when you did not play your junior year, I know you still had the offers and everything like that, but at that time. Uh, with that injury, what was your thoughts going through at that time, at that age, with that injury? You're thinking, damn, I could bounce back from this, or what it's going to do is my oh. scholarship offer is going to get pulled off the table? Oh, no. Oh, no. I, bro, I, I thought it was over because it was the first time I had ever even heard of the injury. I'd never even heard of ACL tear. I'd never been hurt before. That was my first time getting hurt. And after the injury, I'm I'm crying, boohooing every day because I'm thinking it's over with. You know, I'm right. thinking about okay, I got to try to get back for baseball season because I I know I I can get back for baseball season. Right. But Coach Donato, he called me, and, and you know Coach Donato was recruiting me then. Saban wasn't there, and uh, Donato told me, man, he was like, you know, this 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 injury happens a lot now. And technology that we have now, you know what I'm saying, is you'll be back and we're gonna honor your scholarship. And bro, that was the best that was the best words I ever heard in my life, bro, because I, I everything changed then. Now, now I'm now I'm on the path to trying to get back now. Now I'm working hard trying to get back because I know I still have a future yeah, in this. Yeah, so that shit put your mind at ease and then now I gave you a little motivation, all the bullshit that you was thinking gonna happen. You know, okay, everything's still on course. I could just go ahead and, and get healthy and do what I need to do. Yep, yep. That's what it. That's what happened, bro. Because I was, I was, I was down after that. I thought it was over with. Because I man, I ain't never had no injury. Yeah, man. I, right. You know, and I mean, I didn't have my first major injury was an ACL too, but it happened in college. So I can't even imagine like you having that shit happen when you was in high school and just a mental fuck. I mean, it could be a mental fuck, honestly. You know what I mean? And just at church, at that age in high school, because I honestly, when I told mine, I thought the same thing. I thought, shit, I was so damn scared. I thought they were going to send me back to Miami. I thought was, I thought scholarship was going to be taking all that crazy shit. You know what I mean? Yep. So I could just imagine at that age what you was thinking with the offers and how you was playing and the disappointment that came with that and everything. So that put your mind at ease, and you decided you coming to LSU. Uh, you decided to come, up, come to LSU. What was your first? Cause I, what was your first thought? I tell you my first thoughts when I first came. But what was your first thoughts when you set foot on campus, walked in the locker room and seen the guys for the first time and got a chance to intermingle with them and got got to that first practice and like got the first hit. I know it's, and all that shit. What what was that initially like for you, Toe? Um, it it took a while, bro. Um, first I mean first of all. Football, football, playing football never scared me. I never got nervous playing football because I knew I could play the game and I knew I could hold my weight. It was just being, it was just being on campus and being with other guys who like was just like you know because I'm, yeah, you know I'm, I'm from the projects, man. We ain't have much. So when I get when I get to LSU, I see all these guys who who on top of game. You know what I'm saying? These guys are. Uh, uh, um, doing it in the classroom. They they doing it on the field. They they just doing it in life. Period. You you know the guys I'm talking about. I ain't got to name no name. Mm -hmm. I was I was. Just, that's why you know I was so quiet. I was just like I was. The situation just was overwhelming. I was just yeah, like it was in you know, awe. Yeah, you know, cause yeah. I I ain't never 
I never been nowhere, you know. Even though LSU was right down the street, I had never been to LSU. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that. Was, so I mean, other than just going to camp, but co- actually coming to you know going to school there, man, that was just overwhelming, man. I was actually that first week of camp, I was ready to go home. I called my mama and was like, "I'm gonna look." <laughs> yeah, we all called our mama, <laughs> bro. <bruh. laughs> <laughs> bro, I was like, man, I don't know oh, if I can do this, bro. They running me to death. We got these long, Coach D got these long shuttles. I can't make this stuff, man. My mama hung up the phone in my face. Boy, you staying. Hey, let me ask you a question. Did you lift weights heavy in high school? I did. I, I ain't going to lie. I did. I started, I started early, bro. I was like one of them seventh graders going to the high school lifting weights. You know, right, I was right, one. Right. Cause I know one right. of like for me one of the biggest adjustments when I got to school was just like the regiment, you know what I mean? Like when when we was in high school, shit. Once you out of high school, you done. They ain't do nothing with football, basketball. Once you out of practice and all that, we ain't do nothing no more. It wasn't no working out after or none of that shit. You know what I mean? So that's what I had to get used to was just like really working. You know what I mean? Like yeah. until that point, it was basically just like raw abilities that was doing it. You know what I mean? It was. Use because, like, for me, I was still, I wasn't on a regimen, I wasn't eating perfect, I wasn't, you know what I mean? Definitely wasn't lifting no weights. I wasn't lifting no weights in high school, yeah. So, that was a big yeah. adjustment for me, yeah. And my thing, my my biggest adjustment was, and you and we probably both had this problem, I know we did, was my diet and what I'm, you know, because I'm so <laughs> used to, bro, look, yeah. I'm eating everything at home, man. I get the college, you mean tell me I can't eat this, I can't eat that? Oh, no. <laughs> no, nah, and, and and you know, for me honestly, it wasn't until like uh, Coach Saban came and yeah. showed yep. a different way and a different path for how to do things, and it wasn't until he came and instilled that discipline and really challenged us like a motherfucker to he did. become champions, man. And that's now, honestly that was that was the the, the turn for me was that that right there. Yeah, yep, I agree with you, bro. It, it was like night and day when he got there. <laughs> From him calling us small when we when he first walked in the building. You remember that shit? Man, what? Then I I was like, I thought I was a big back. This guy <laughs> said we small. <laughs> he said we small. I said, all right. Yeah, I remember it like it was yesterday. He was like, in the yeah, it's a basketball team. You know, yep. because he was used to coming from from up there with them big old boys and big old linemen. So, you know, that was a little bit different. But it was insulting at first. But I think we all was insulted at first. But then when we seen the plan over like the next month, because that's when he really got my attention was over the next month. Because it was like, it was no waiting. It was no like easing to this bitch. It was like, <laughs> let's go. And we was in it. And, you know, dude. Yeah, that damn fourth quarter shit. What? Tell me about it. That that was one of the things that that make you reconsider whether or not you really want to play football. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Whether or not you want to get up that early. Whether or not you want to go through this fourth quarter program. Because I honestly think that's what that shit was built for. It was built yeah. to weed out the week. You know what I mean? Yep. So look, yeah. at what point? I got one. At what point? When you when you first got there, you saw the running back room. Cause that's when I first came out I I, in the quarterback room. I always looked at the quarterback room and see, I was like, damn, what I was up against. So when you came there and looking, like you said, you always knew you could play. But as always, you know, you get to college and now you got all the big dogs. Everybody a big dog. Everybody was a right. big dog. Where they from? Everybody coming in big dogs. So when that's you right. when you when you got there and seen the other big dogs. And now you in practice, y'all moving, y'all running, y'all shaking, y'all doing your thing. And we all do the shit. You sizing yourself up against them. Is you quicker, is you this, is you that. You know, for me it was who could who 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 could throw it the furthest, who got the quick, who got the strongest arm, who could move, who quit, you know what I mean? All that type of shit that they compare quarterback. Then we're getting a film room or whatever, and we get on the board or however they give us our tests, and we go through our tests, you know, however they trying to weed you out. Um when you compared yourself and you looked and you seen the stable and them cats that was in there with you, double D and them boys, what what you was thinking, dog? What you was thinking? You seen them boys like that come through that? Um, I mean, first I was, first of all, I was I was a fan because I heard about you knew him, yeah. I watched, right. You know, I I 
I watched Ro. I mean, not Ro. I watched Rondell Mealy play. You know what I'm saying? He was still there when I mm-hmm. got there. I had I, I knew I've seen Josh Reed play a couple of times. You know, I knew about Josh Reed. Met him at one of the camps. I knew about Dominique. We was in the same class. You know, so if I'm reading about myself, so I'm reading about him too. We, hey, you we got it. Not to cut you off, but you got to tell that story, dog. You got to tell that, You got to tell the story about Josh. Well, when Wait, y'all was the, at the camp, when y'all was at LSU. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, so so. definitely got to tell that. All right. It, it was. It was. It was after my sophomore year. Uh, yeah, after my sophomore season. Uh, I went to the summer camp at LSU, and you know I'm I'm just a sophomore, so I'm quiet. Oh, you no, know but, how. I'm... But 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 what was your numbers? Tell, like, what was your numbers before you tell the story? What was your numbers? My uh, your rushing stats that uh, past year as a sophomore. Uh, I think it was twenty one hundred twenty one and twenty seven. Right, touchdown okay. that year. All right, go ahead. So that was my sophomore year. My junior year, I had the big year. So we go to camp, and I walk on the field, and I see yeah. hold on, everybody. Hold on, hold on Toe. My producer, Stu, said that was in high school. I was just asking <laughs> if that was in high school. You know, I, I, I'm thinking you're talking about college because, I look, I looked at the college stats. I already know what you did in college. But the, the, doing that as a high school sophomore is in Louisiana, that's, that's, that's crazy. That's different. Oh man, my my junior year, my junior, my junior year, I had twenty eight hundred and forty six touchdowns. Man, stop! <laughs> so what I happened? Mean, at you, the, what happened? At so the <laughs> Stu so I I go I I see a whole crowd of people on the field. So I'm walking with my helmet all quiet. We me and another dude from from my high school. We ain't saying nothing to nobody. We both nervous. Yeah. So I we crowd. I see. I say, damn, that's. That's Josh Reed in the middle of everybody just talking, you yeah. know. And he, he, Hold, he holding man. court, he holding court. Yeah, you know how you know how Josh of is. Of course, you know, he Josh, holding court. Right, he got everybody around him. Everybody amazed that talking this is that Josh shit. Reed yeah. Right yeah, you know he's so he like, running back. I ain't, I ain't going. I ain't going to LSU. I, I'm, I'm going this. I think he committed to Colorado or something at the time. Yeah, he was like, I'm, I'm gonna go to Colorado. All this and and such and such. And he was like. Yeah, I'm the only one out here that runs for over two thousand yards, and and he he was, and he had everybody raising their hands like little puppets. Who who out here then and, and, and did this did that? Then the last question he was like, who out here that runs for two thousand yards besides me? He held his hand up, and I walked up and I and some told me go and raise your hand. You did it, so I raised my hand up, and he looked at me and say, who is you? I say LeBron and Tofield. He say, oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, and right, I walked off. Look, I walked off. <laughs> yeah, but you know what that you know what that reaction tell you though. He knew who you were. Yeah, because yeah, the one thing did. you know, dog. Because I did this when I was in high school. Boy, I used to steal. Me and my partner used to. St- oh, I ain't gonna say JD ain't gonna like that. But me and my partner used to damn run. Well, actually, it's his wife now, so it don't matter. When I was in high school, dog, my partner JD used to come pick me up in the morning, like on Friday mornings. We yeah. used to drive off, dog, and he had a box Chevy with a hole in it. We used to eat and just throw throw, throw the bones and shit out the bottom of the box Chevy and put the carpet back over it. So, dog. Damn. Yeah. I mean, he was th- listen, man, <laughs> open locker. Listen. So, to- <laughs> we used to pick me up, and we used to bring the corner on Friday mornings and stop. It's so crazy. We used to always steal the newspaper off this lady, Lauren, just because uh-huh. we wanted to see the stats of what they did on the Thursday night game and see who was playing on the Friday night game. Just look at the stats to see how many yards I got to put up against whoever had done it the night before or whoever was leading, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I say he knew who you was because all y'all was running back. He knew who the dogs was. That's why he said, oh. Yep. yep. I, and it was, bro, and then, and speaking of that, going back to the to that running back room, bro, Josh was in that running back room because you know he played running back first. It yeah, was it was no. Rundell, Rundell, Josh, Dominique. Uh, who else was there? We had one more. Dever came the year yeah, after. Yeah, Dever. Yeah, Dever yeah, yeah, was the, was it was the next. Op Dever. Yep. Yeah. Dev came the next year. Bro, I was fourth string, bro. I was. It was because you you know Rundell was first. Right. Dominique, they was on Dominique because, you know, they were, he reminded them of Kevin. He did a lot of things Kevin did. You know, he can catch that ball at the backfield, a lot of that stuff. 
and Josh Reed. Yeah. I was fourth string. They they gave you don't remember they they gave me any number. They gave me number forty one. Yeah, I remember you have. He said they gave you any number, <laughs> <laughs> bro. This, bro, this not mad. I I wasn't saying nothing, but I was mad though. I was like, damn, they treat me like you know what I'm saying, like nothing, because I I said I'm too real, bro. That number shit like, be serious, don't it? <laughs> man, what? How you gonna just give me number forty one, man? I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, did you ask for a number in recruiting, or, or like they just like when you got to campus, it was well, like, yeah, you know they 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 know because you write it down. They they ask you what number you want to be before you get there. Uh, shit, hey, yeah, Man. bro, that's like when I got there. Uh, Sparacino had six. Mm -hmm. Ryan Sparacino, dog, and I told him, dog, when I was coming, I got to get six. You know what I mean, like. I gotta get sick. They done promised me that bitch coach. They done promised me that thing. I come in that thing. They done gave me damn 14. You understand me? 14. I was like, <laughs> so I went to Sparacino. I was like, look, I gotta get my number, man. They promised my number. Boy, Sparacino looked at me and was like, who the hell are you? <laughs> who the hell are you? <laughs> I was so pissed off, dog. My whole, so I know about that number shit. I definitely didn't get my number that year. I had to wait. Yeah. I ain't even get it the next year, though. So you didn't have six to your junior and senior year. Yeah, I ain't had six to my like red shirt sophomore year, which was my third year. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. You know that okay. number is personal, dog. That number, oh, man. Is yeah, it's personal, man. I wanted. I was two in high school. I wanted two, and they had me go talk to Ryan Clark, man. That and he was just like, nah, man. I want to give it to you, but nah, I was two in high school too. I was like, All right. <laughs> you know, you want getting that, dog. Man, you want, for you, real. You, I already you, know. You, yeah, you know, you want getting that, dog. I, I know I wasn't getting it. Hey, so look, so your mentality at the time when all them guys was in front of you was what? I'm going to work my ass off, what? Well, I was just trying to get back. I felt like that no, they they forgot Michael about Walker. They forgot about yeah, you. Man. Yeah. That's that's all I was saying. I'm like, damn, they must have forgot about me what I did. Because I, I sit out my senior year, and then I reasserted my freshman year at LSU. So I really, I basically sit out two years. And I was just like, when when my time come, I was just gonna show him. And when we got back off that off my red shirt freshman year, my my first year there, when we lost all them games, Coach D last year, and then when when Coach Saban came in, yeah. he, he they gave me a shot. And that was the healthiest look. you had been since you got there, huh? Yeah, yeah. And the best and that, you had that felt. Run, yep, yeah. And that run, that Tennessee run, I don't know what the third or fourth game of the season. That run. That was my longest run since high school, since like my junior year. Damn. Yeah. So that's how I, that run right there. That, that that let me know I was back. So let me ask you this: Your first start. You remember your first start? Yeah, Tulane. The night before your first start. What was going through your head the night before your first start? <laughs> See, I hope Real I can remember shit. these plays. I hope I can remember these plays. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really know. If I can get the plays down, yeah. it's going to be good. I, I know I can play the game. It's yeah, just, just let me go I in the right play? direction. Right. See, I, don't, I don't need you, Coach, to turn around and look at me. Tell what the yeah. hell you doing. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, you already. And then, <laughs> and then let me ask you this, though, like, because I know, like, you know, when they have battles going on, and even more so different at y'all position at the quarterback, I mean, excuse me, at the running back position, because it's, all, it's more than one running back most of the time. Most of the time, only one quarterback playing, and you know who, if you the man, if you playing or not. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. for you, coming in that, in that situation, and I know you say you don't never, you know you can play the game and you never put any pressure on yourself, but knowing that, okay, I got these other guys behind me, do you feel any added pressure with that? To, you know how they say, do too much? You know, I always hear the shit when they say, know when the journey's over, right? Know when the journey's uh -huh. over. So if you're in there in that situation and you know you got this in the back, these guys behind you, do you have, do you, does that go out the window, know when the journey's over, or are you trying to get as much yards as possible? Nah, you know, I'm trying to get as much yards as possible. I ain't, I ain't trying to fall down for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm, I'm I'm the type that I always had in my mind. You just don't let no one person stop you. 
You know what I'm saying? That's why if you ever see me get tackled by one person, I probably get up, slam the ball, do something stupid. Because I'm the back of my mind, since I was young, I would always tell myself, don't let one guy tackle you. And that, that stuck with me for a long time. That's why you see me break so many tackles. Yeah, and that I mean, that's that's how all the great running backs are judged. Honestly, a lot of them are, are judged on – they always say you got to make the first man miss, just like the great punt returners and kick returners. You got to make the first guy miss. And, yeah, yep. you, you punished a lot of motherfuckers, dog. <laughs> you definitely did that. The punish, the, the pound game was definitely on whenever you touched the uh, football. Now, I'm going I'm to fast forward a little bit because I know one of my most favorite uh, moments of you was that Tennessee game. Um, okay. Now, I know that stands out. In your mind. But you know that was a check, right? Yeah, I know the check. We yeah, missed just, the check but the at the beginning of the game. We you checked, but you, you, look, you didn't turn and tell me though. <laughs> yeah, the, we we oh, had that play man. early in the game. That's what hey, that's what the people is so funny. Everybody listen. But the play that Toe scored on, the long run that everybody known him for. We were actually supposed to run that play earlier in the game, in the yeah. drive and whatever, earlier. And I checked it, but never told him. Like, I checked it at the line. Everybody knew what we was doing, but I never turned around to check and told him. And, and that's what he's talking about. And then so we got it again. So that's why I just referenced it. It was a check because Jimbo was all, Jimbo, uh, shit. You know, what? Yeah. I'm going to tell you, one of the worst things in the world, dog, is – when you know you screwed up and you got to go to the sideline. <laughs> yep. How was Haywood? How was Haywood when y'all used to come over? Like when y'all used to, because I never know. When y'all used to come over there and be in them little huddles and shit, when y'all used to screw up, what do, What was like the thing that Haywood would say? Like you know how every coach had the thing that they would say, like for Jimbo, Jimbo would say, oh, you just going to let him just fucking screw you up today, aren't you? You know what I mean? He'll say something like that, or he'll say something that he you know get under your skin, like, "Oh, he's he's fucking better than you, aren't? Isn't he?" Or something like that. You know what I mean? So, what was um, Haywood thing? Say Haywood had a thing. Man, Haywood, I, I don't look. I ain't like Haywood my first year. He knows <laughs> my first. Year. And I told him because we we kept bumping heads my freshman year because I don't know why he he but. He's always hard on the freshman, and, and I saw that as mm. I became a sophomore, a junior. You know, I was like, he that's just who he is. So we bump heads a lot, just like him and Josh bumped heads. Yeah, me, me and him bumped heads too. But you know, I, I was, you know, I was one of the ones I can I can look the other way and just keep going. But I don't think it, I don't think you hated Haywood more than Josh though. No, no, no. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, because, I mean, they, they might well have they had gotten to a little brawl or something. Or gotten to, yeah, I, look, celebrity. you took it. I was just about to say they had some off the field. Yeah, they, 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 it was like some father and son stupid shit or yeah. something. I don't even misunderstand that what was going on with them. You think that's why Josh switched the receiver? Nah, Josh switched the receiver because Josh wasn't going to be a running back nah. <laughs> in the fucking SEC. <laughs> that's why he switched the receiver. I mean, yeah, he had, was. Go ahead. He was good, but he was he just wasn't he just he just wasn't explosive. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know how he was. He was he was only probably about a four six. Yeah. You Josh, know, but he just he just got open. <laughs> yeah, Josh, great thing was, you know, at receiver was the ability to run full speed and never break when coming out of a cut. And so yep. whereas everybody else was stuttering to get out DBs and you know just think about it double moves was his best thing because he was never break he never chattered his feet he never slowed down so he was always yep. open in that retrospect um but as a running back it's different you know what I mean running back is a whole different thing being a great running back in high school does not make you going to be a great running back in college and you know that especially coming into the SEC man you got to have yeah. a little bit more punch than he had to be effective but not saying he couldn't have been you know, a good running back if he, he had to play the position, but a more phenomenal uh, receiver. And then he was a natural pass catcher. So that, that oh, also, yeah. you know, catapulted him to the position. Uh, at Definitely. Running back, you know, 
Yeah, Josh was a motherfucker, man. I mean, you, all oh, you yeah, guys definitely. was, all you guys was. So, so now we go from from there to now you the man. Any, because I know you know when you when you're not the man and you, but you guys are rotating, you're doing your thing, but you still, you, I don't know, not not, not speaking for you, but it's still a different. I don't care what anybody. It's still a different awareness. It's still a different focus that you have when you the guy as opposed to not being the guy. And not to say you ain't studying and you not in that shit and you're not paying attention and all that, but there's a different, and, you, it, I, and for me also, I also felt a different responsibility to um, my team, to everybody as a whole when you are not a man as opposed to, you know, you the backup or whatever it may be. So when you now became the guy, and you know you first out on the field, and you getting the majority of the touches. What changed for you, dog? Uh, a lot. I mean, I just felt like besides the girls. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I just felt like you know I can't like like guys like you, guys, Robert Raw. Oh uh, yeah, I feel like. At my position, uh, me being a starter now, I can't let y'all down. That was my right, biggest right, thing right, is, right, right. is not let my teammates down and doing my part. That's why you never had to fuss at me. Uh, told get your get ready. Uh, coach ain't never had to pat me on the back to get ready for no game because I already knew my responsibility. If I'm healthy, I'm going to do my job. You know what I'm saying? So it just came to where this, you know, it. Just my role just changed. I, I I know I can't let you guys down. I'm a starter now. We got ten more guys over here that right. I can't let down on this offense. So it just it was just that serious to me. No, I remember like me and you got good because we kind of had like the same temperament off the field, kind of chill, mm-hmm. laid back, stay out the way. Um, but on the field, we kind of had the same shit too because. It's kind of like, well, for me, and I saw it in you on the on the field, because on the football field, dog, you is a totally different person, man. Like, yep. on the football field, it's like, I don't know if you have, like, an alter ego or another <laughs> another person, but you ain't <laughs> toe field on the football field. Like, on the football field, you aggressive. Like, you mean. Like, all the things that you want. But you wouldn't think that about you because off the field, you like, you know what I mean? Chill, laid back, yeah. never tone or never get over a certain level. You know what I'm saying? So what is it about when you get on the football field that you release all that that you've been carrying? Because I mean, because I know, you know, for me, like you say, where you grew up, where the majority yeah. of us grew up that plays that, that play this sport and the shit that we come from. We all, this is the other thing I found out about playing the sport. We all come from the same place, but just from different places, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like we all yeah, go through the yeah. same experience. We're just in different places going through it. I hear people talk all the time about the night before school and putting the school clothes out and getting your outfit and shit ready for school and all that. Man, they did that shit everywhere. Like we did that everywhere. Every hood across America, Every, you know what I'm saying, suburb and everything like that, we all did, you know, the same thing. Just in different places doing it. You know what I mean? Yep. So what that was? It, um, I don't, I think for as college-wise, like, I think, you know, my mom passing away my freshman year had a lot to do with me, you know, running angry, or playing angry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, you know, I mean, because basically, I, I mean, I was really, once I, like, we go back to high school, once I figured out I can maybe go pro or, or go college and, and do something with myself, you know, now I'm thinking, like, because my whole thing is, like, what sport I want to choose. I could have played baseball. I could have played, I mean, I, I did play football. I could have did either one. But, my thing was, how can I get my mama out these projects? You know what I'm saying? So the quickest way to that was football. So I started, you know, I I, I kind of focused more on football. So anyway, so 
I think her passing away and not being able, knowing I'm not gonna be able to see you for know, her to see it. Her. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? It just your purpose. I was just, yeah. Th- that was my whole purpose of yeah, playing. That was your whole purpose of playing, playing, bro. That was yep, your whole purpose. Yep. Yeah. I definitely yep, so get it. I think that that kind of, you know what I'm saying? And then you know, a lot of people, a lot of dudes be talking noise. You know, I don't, I'm a quiet guy, but I don't like you to talk shit to me. Right? We don't, you know what I'm saying? So they, I think more of my mama and then a lot of, you know, a lot of dudes talking noise and stuff thinking, you know, because I'm quiet. I, I ain't going to do this. I ain't going to do that. But that's what I'm waiting on. So look, I know and definitely rest in peace to your mother. I remember. Yep. Us having a conversation about that, and I, I never knew yep. that though. Never knew that what you just said, as far as that was your motivating factor. That was a quick, and when I think we all think like that, man. Once we get an opportunity and feel like we got a chance to get up out that shit, like you know, to get mom straight and to get up out of there. And I can't even imagine just her passing away and you not being able, being able to get her them keys to the car, the keys to the crib, and all right. that. So yeah, I get it. And but hey, kudos for keep fighting. Kudos to keep fighting, man. Kudos to keep oh, fighting, because yeah. I can't even imagine that, losing my mother at that age as we was, homie. So definitely hats off to you and your family for all that. And I already you know, know about the, the the other tragedies that you've experienced. Right. Um, A lot of stuff can go down the line. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So now you now you here. You here. You done yep. made it through LSU. You're freshman All-American. You can, then ran through the ranks, one of the best running backs to ever come through LSU, and 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 now, you know, you end you end up getting ready to go into the draft. You end up getting ready to go into the draft. Um, but before we go there, let me ask you this: What was your like your your all time? What was your all time at LSU? What was your all time moment on the field? Um. Uh... I I would say I, I don't know I guess the Arkansas game 2001 when I broke the touchdown record mm-hmm. you know I, that was it was a great you know it was it was great because that was my thing you know that was my thing scoring touchdowns you know right right, right. I scored, you know high school I scored so many touchdowns I scored what 72 touchdowns in two years you know that was my thing so when I got this way everybody look man you score a lot of touchdowns that's what I do. I scored touchdowns. You know? <laughs> so I, I, I was proud of that moment, man. You know, cause, and, I, and, and, and I broke the record, bro. And people would talk about, yeah, Leonard Fournette, he, you know, he beat your record by two or three or whatever. I tell people all the time, yeah, I missed three games that year, though. People don't even know that. It still right. broke the record. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. So, I mean, that moment there, bro, I'm, I'm still proud of to this day, bro, because that was my thing, man, scoring touchdowns. Well, I didn't even care about as long as I get in that zone. I'm trying to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Like I always tell a man, a, a, a quarterback's best friend is having a running back, a dependable running back that they could give it to. But more, even more important, and it's something that I take my hats off to you. I take it off to Kev, Double D, uh, Tommy Banks, uh, these guys. Because most importantly, we want to see you pick up that blitz, baby. We want to see you pick oh, up yeah. that blitz and pick up that 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 blitz are coming free and knowing where yeah, your you blitz do. assignment was, man. And let me ask you this, and you can break. I asked Kev this when I had him on here week one. Why is it so hard for running backs to know their blitz assignment? I don't know about other guys, but because it wasn't that hard for me, because I I love doing it. So it wasn't that hard for me. I knew I was special at it. So I'm going, you know, I'm going to try to be the best at it. So I studied it. So I don't know, man. A lot of guys just don't study. I mean, the, it's it's really simple. The safety is going to tell you everything. But hey. you know what I'm saying? Well, the, the same, well, the safety line up, you, you know what I'm saying? He's going to tell you what a blitz is going to be. You know what, but, man? I, uh, let me ask you this, Tote. When you came into the league to now, so look, no, let me fast forward. I'm skipping around. You get okay. you getting ready to get drafted. How and I love to hear about guys' draft process, dog. Like, how was like your draft process? I know you chose your agent, but how was your draft process as far as like, you know, 
the phone calls uh the rounds what was the 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 buzz going on around you around that time did you know you were going to jacksonville were they even in the picture nope (laughs) all right well um you know leading up to the draft i knew well first making the decision to come out you know i left as a junior Mm -hmm. i had one more year left but because of the surgeries i decided you know to forego my senior year and go ahead and go into the draft because I pictured like, you know, I'm, why not go now while I still got a little name instead of trying to come back next year and I get hurt and I'm I'm probably a free agent or something. Gotcha. So that decision was hard. Me and, me and, me and Coach Saban had a long talk about that. He really didn't want me to go, but he understood. Right. So I went. I go. I know I'm knowing, you know, if I'm healthy or whatever, I'm going to get drafted. That that's what I got in my mind. I know it's not going to be high because of the injuries. I, I know the injury is going to hold me back, so I wasn't anticipating no first, second round, but I was anticipating the third round. I wound up going in the fourth, but I thought I was going in the third because Pittsburgh was met with me twice at the combine. You know, so that was that's, when that's had, who was on you heaviest. Yes, that's when they had uh, Bill Coward, and okay. you know, um, yeah, and we. Uh, Shoot, we we had nice conversations, man. I swear, to God, I thought I was going to Pittsburgh. <laughs> was I didn't even meet Jackson <laughs> Fury. You know? I met with, you know what? I did. I met with. Uh, I wound up going to the Senior Bowl, and I was I wasn't playing, and I just went to the Senior Bowl, and I wound up meeting. Uh, you know, you know Shaq Harris, right? The uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was in Jacksonville. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. I wound up. Yep, I wound up meeting him. And, you know, we had a nice conversation. You know, I think he had some ties in Louisiana, all that. And that, you know, we went to talking about that. And and that's how, that's the only meeting I had with Jacksonville, period. Oh, wow. Yep. And so, so and here. so now comes, what, day two of the draft, right? Because you went in the fourth round, I went in the fourth round. So day two of the draft come up, you wake up, um, your agent probably hit you up or something, and you anticipating going to day in it when did you when like besides that conversation when did your agent hit you and was like or what was the conversation when team when jacksonville called you to let you know they was going to select you uh i kind of knew i was gonna go soon because that year they only had two backs winning the first round and that was willis mcgahee and larry johnson Mm-hmm. Which me and Larry, me and Larry Johnson worked out together in New Orleans a show, and I'm, I'm killing him in every drill we do. But he got drafted in the first round. But, yeah, I remember Larry out there. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was McGahey, Larry, and then the third. They didn't draft another back to like the third round, and I think that was B.J. Askew. I think from Michigan. Mm-hmm. And uh, all the rest of the running, I think Ontario Smith was the first one to go in the fourth round, and then Dominique actually went before me. So I, I kind of knew I had to be, I had to be soon, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know, and nobody had to tell me. I just felt that they started drafting backs right off the, like off the board, like crazy in that fourth round. So, so what was the call and, like when you got that call? Uh, I don't remember that much, but you know, I, I think it was just like. You know, it started off with a normal conversation, you know what I'm saying? I don't recall who it was, bro. I know it wasn't uh it wasn't Jack Del Rio or Shaq or one of them. I don't remember who it was. It was like probably a little, you know, probably a little sister code G A or something. And and they was just to having a normal conversation and then at the, before they picked me, they was like, uh, we're gonna take you such and such and how you know how you like to come to Jacksonville. I'm like, shit. I'm loving. I'm loving. I'm ready to go. <laughs> what type of question that is, man? I've been sitting here. I'm ready, and I just watched uh, Dominique no, go and Ontario go. I'm like, oh no. Yeah, it's true. Yep. It's true. It's time to get off the board. It's time yep. to get off the board. So you get to Jacksonville, and who that? Fred T. That huh? Fred T. Man, my yeah. boy to this day. <laughs> T was a monster. I remember, yeah. I remember uh, when we played against Fred T when he was at Florida, dog. Like, what the fuck? Problem. He was a man problem. for real. So who else? Mm-hmm. The Fred T, you? Who else? We got Freddie T. Stacy Mack had just left. Oh man. 
remember. Um, El, you remember Elvis Joseph went to Southern. I don't remember. And he played. He was a back over there. We didn't have many. It was like you know. I, it was instantly me getting off the bus to second string. You gotcha, know what I'm saying? Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Until gotcha. until that next year, we that next year after that, we drafted uh Greg Jones. I remember him. Yeah. And then well, Greg walk in looking like a truck. And Greg Jones was big, dog. Uh, hey, what? Yeah, I thought I was big. That man, uh, Greg that's Jones different. That's like, different type of big. Like old Henry, big, dog. Man, man that boy, that was a big old, old bricklayer, big man. Brick Talking about old. like Elsie Parker, big. Exactly, Chicken George. For real. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. One hundred percent. One hundred percent, dog. Yeah. And so, and so you get to Jacksonville, you go through that. Hey, but look. Um, how y'all went through rookie haze and out there? We did, we did, bro. But they, they never did me nothing. I, you know, I guess just me being quiet ain't, you know, ain't messing with nobody. I, you know how I am. I'm staying out the way, staying out of everybody's way. Only thing I did was maybe carry Fred and them uh, pass off the field or whatever. But they ain't never really. I ain't really did no haze. They got a lot of guys though. Time to tie them up, threw them in the cold tub, all that stuff. But one Lester recalled out there with y'all. Yeah, he came. My third year, Lester came out there. Yep. Oh, so so you was a vet when he was a rookie. Yep, yep. You ain't never had. Him you ain't never had Lester. Yeah, they got Lester a few times. Lester was just a haze magnet. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> See, I know what that shit mean, dog. I know what that haze magnet shit mean, dog. It's, you it's already like, know. Yeah, for everybody that don't know, like a haze magnet is like. I love my boy to death. <laughs> yeah, unless I talk to less all the time, we're cool, but I mean, yeah. it is what it is. I ain't tripping about it. Yeah. He, yeah. You know, that's like a person that everybody just, they pick on them. Like, you know what I mean? They might sing you to do something. And you may not even have to do it, or you may do it, and somebody else, then somebody else will want you to do the same thing. And so guys are now start falling in line. And yep. after a while, it's about eight, nine guys that done sent you to do the same thing, and you ain't even got to right. do that. But you think you do, or you trying to be cool, or you trying to fit in. But you know, that everybody know where yeah. the buck stops with that for real. Right, and then you now you got you got wide receivers. Asking the quarterbacks, hey, let me borrow your rookie. Man, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean, let me borrow your rookie, man? All right, let me borrow your Y'all rookie, man. Make your Lester around? Man, make your rookie pass. go do this. Yeah. Man, I'm sitting back like, oh, man. So, Not my dog. You got, you going to have to put the chest out, bro. Hey, so look, I'm saying, though, being that being that they try and lesser like they was, they, but I mean, like they say, everybody go through it, but they get a certain point where now they just trying you for real. So being that Lester was getting tried like that at the end after, you know, he did his little thing and now everybody trying to go overboard with it. You ain't never feel like, you know, this my dog from the boot. <laughs> this my dog from the boot. We from the boot. I can't be handing house out here looking like this. You ain't never step in and intervene <laughs> for that man. You ain't never man. step in for Lester. <laughs> See, you are you know you already know me so well. <laughs> so Make a long story short, man. I don't want to put it myself too much, but you know, we we in Kansas City. Yeah, it's we just played Kansas City, and it's storming raining after the game. Yeah, so everybody, you know, Kansas City fans, you know, they got that good barbecue. Yeah. So Kansas City got they got barbecue place for us if we want them getting them back on the bus. So everybody going to get their own, you know. So once again, that's the uh. uh he a magnet. So he go gets a couple of quarterbacks, uh, uh, probably Dave Garrard and Byron Leftwich food or whatever. So he go get their food. So somebody else asked him, man, can you go get me something? He, he going to get their food. He's, mind you, his rain is so, he's soaking wet. He got a nice suit on. I know he pays money for that suit. He got a nice suit on, soaking wet, dripping wet. Now you got. Yeah, running receivers. back and forth in the rain, going to get barbecue? Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta run through the parking lot and go get it. You gotta go get it. Ain't nobody gonna go get it for you, but him. So he, uh, so you got, uh, I forgot the guy name. He played receiver for the Browns and he came to us. 
God, dog, I can't think of his name. But anyway, his receiver gets on the bus. Man, where y'all getting no place from? Oh, they way over there. You got to run. You got to go over there and get it. Uh, and I hear one of the, uh, somebody say, uh, make Lester go get it. <laughs> so I'm looking at his face. He he try, he hear them, but he don't want to hear him. He got a sad face. I'm like, bro. <laughs> If I say if you stand up, I'm gonna kick your ass if you stand up. <laughs> I say, bro, sit your ass down. You ain't got to go over there and keep running to get them no food, man. You, you did it up. You went and got three. Bro, you went and got three of them. You don't need everybody else. Look, somebody they're gonna have to find somebody else to go get sit the fuck down, Lester. I made him sit down, you know what I'm saying? He was sitting all, all, all the guys was like, oh, toe. That's how I, I said, man, y'all making this man go out there. This storm and rain. Y'all go. See, like he didn't got enough. That's enough. And, you know, it was, it was cool after that, though. Everybody laughed it off after that, though. You yeah, know, but, but shit, you got to stand up for him. So the lesser trying to, you know, he trying to fit in and shit with that bullshit. Yeah, so, yeah, you know how it is, though, man. You know you know how Lesser, Lesser's a good guy, man. Yeah, he don't, that's you know, cool. he... That's a yeah, cool, yeah. That's a cool... That, that 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 sounds just like his character, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah but uh, sometimes, goddamn it, you gotta see, you gotta let him know. Oh yeah, you gotta. I mean, <laughs> if it's they gonna, rain, they gonna keep you. No, if it's pouring raining outside, it's different. If it's sunny day, if it's raining outside, as soon as I walk in on that bus, man, I'm not going back out of this bus. That's hey. my own shit. Right for nobody. Man, I'm not trying to go get nobody food. They got the game twisted, but. I mean, like you say, you a rookie, you trying to do this. When I was in New England, we didn't do none of that. Yeah. We, we sung a song or something like that, or, you know what I mean, carried Tom um, shoulder pads or something like that. Yeah, yeah. They wanted, yep. they wanted all that bullshit, though. So, yep. Fred and, them, Fred and them wasn't doing none of that. He told me. He was like, man, I don't, I don't do none of that stuff like that. Nah, I so I just, you know, I'll grab his pads just, just, just to do it. Yeah, I can't you know even see Fred doing none of that, though. So, nah, that, Fred, chill, man. <laughs> So, Tote, how has life been after NFL, <clears throat> though? Nah. Uh, it, it, it's good, bro. It's good now. It was, it was a little rough the first couple of years out, you know, missing football and not doing this right, not doing that right. It was a little rough. But, you know, it, life's good now. I'm blessed. Yeah, just trying to, just trying to figure it out when you first get done. Yeah, you know, man. I all, all I knew was sports. Yeah. So. and I think it's especially hard to, especially if you, you feel like you know, like for me, you feel like you still could play, or you still want to play, and you haven't, you know, what I mean, whether it's accomplished the goal, or you just don't feel like you put in the work that you could have yet uh, at, at in that profession, and you know, but shit, yep. whatever come into play that gets you out, whether it's injuries, whether it's just. You know, not getting the reps, not getting the looks, whatever it may be. Uh, but the adjustment after is is hard for a lot of guys. I know it was for me. It's hard for a lot of guys. Uh, what was the most challenging part about that for you? Well, after? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I guess it was just adjusting to, like, <laughs> just a regular, being a regular person. Like, you know, shit. At one time, I had I had to go to work. I had to go to nine to five. It, 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 yeah. it <laughs> you know that was new. Right? You know what I'm saying? All that man. It just you know just knowing that you you don't have football to save you no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta you gotta get out here and get it with the normal folks. Yeah, it's true. It's true. So the kids good, family good. You oh, yeah. Down, you down there in Florida now. You know, I ain't going to talk about all your business and everything you got going on. You let the people know if you want to, but I, all your entrepreneurship and everything that you're doing, the stuff that you're doing in the community, uh, um, in Tampa, um, as well as here in Louisiana, man, you know, um, everything that you do um, to help our little organization that we have. and. Out there raising kids now, like we all are doing. Um, hats off to yep. you for that. Um, and man, listen, to, you already know, man. It's always a blessing and a pleasure to be able to chop it up with you, man, and hear everything that you got going on. And you know, let the people know, man. I know you got the businesses coming up and everything you got going on, and um, you're gonna be back and forth here uh, to the state of Louisiana and also Tampa and. Um, you know, every time you got something you want us to air it out on the air, just let us know, man. You already know. My my boy, we'll take care of you. 
Okay, I will do, man. I appreciate you having me on, bro. You know it's, you know it's all love. Every, the, every time I see you, talk to you, it don't matter. It's all love. I ain't got to talk to you. Five years, <laughs> still, gonna be, still gonna be all love. <laughs> you already know, all right. dog. Appreciate so, you taking the time with me today, man. And uh, I'm gonna holler no at doubt, you later, man. Thank you. Me on. All right, boy. We're gonna take. I right, appreciate, it, bro. Thank you. All right, Thanks, partner. Bro. Later. We're gonna take us a break. We'll be back on. Oh, oh, oh. We be back with the crew. We're gonna bring the crew out. We're gonna be back with the crew. You know, whenever, whenever Tyron Matthews ready for that challenge, this is something that he's talking about out loud. Now, yes, he's speaking I mean, into we, existence. We, we will, we will talk to him about this this afternoon. Um, so, I mean, we'll ask him how real this stuff is. But he's just in the way that I know him, and I, you know, like I said, we we've, we've got a relationship that's lasted about ten years from covering, you know, media member to athlete, and um, you know, we're not good friends by any means, but I feel like I know him a little bit. Um, He's not saying stuff like that without really being serious about it. You know what I mean? If he's mm -hmm. thinking that right now and with the, the, the affirmative tone that he is speaking that with, like, it's only a matter of time. Yeah. You he's know not I mean? bluffing. Really, no. I mean, he's, he's, if this is something that he really wants, he'd be great at it. He would be a great coach. He would be a mm -hmm. great motivator. I remember going to the Tennessee camp. Oh, this and, is a great story. And I had locked everybody up. Yeah. Like, literally, I was licking my chops. Yeah. And I'm like, yo. Jarvis and Ozella were there, right? Everybody was there. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, I'm, all y'all get in line. Like, everybody, come on. I'm going to go I'm rep. getting back in line. I'm going to go rep after rep. And right. then it really kind of turned into a show where none of the right. DBs wanted to go. Yeah. <laughs> none of the receivers wanted to go. It was literally, then it turned into me and Jarvis. Right. Just one-on-one. -on -one, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh
Yo, 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 yo. What it do? Gotta take a break after that long one. The boy Tofield was in the building. What? Well, literally, his voice, not him. That was a good one, though. It's always good. Every time we I've done these interviews so far, I always learn something new about guys that I've known for years, and it just goes to show you. Much as you talk and share things, you always, you know, everything don't always come out, so that was great. We're coming back with the whole crew. Where we at, man? Where we at? Where we at? <coughs> Where we at? We got Stu, Stu, Stu. We got OPZ, JJ. Jay, like she about to go, dog. Uh, Jay say she been tired for three days. Yeah. How the hell? Seriously. They drive to Dallas and back. Where? Dallas. All right. OP? <laughs> man, these past few days, I've been chilling, man, as usual. What what's the most important what's the most exciting thing that has happened to you in the last four days, OP? I mean, nothing really exciting happened the last four days, but over the weekend, yeah. Hey, what's that look for dog? <laughs> over the weekend, man, I was I was just chilling, man. You know, I was in Lafayette, you know, just went and get me some wings. Just chilling. What do you mean you was in Lafayette and went and got you some wings? Oh, I went and get me some wings, went. man. I just I went to KOK. I was oh, now that, though, yeah, you went and got the good wings. I'm trying to tell you. That's man. them good wings that's right there. Now, I ain't lying. Steve, for real. Is that all you went there for? I mean, that's not all I went there with. But Did you go there by yourself? <laughs> like I said, that's not all I went there with. But oh, man, I, was, okay. I was chilling, man. Yeah, that's for sure, chilling. for sure. Well, that's good. So you had a good time. I had a great time. For sure, for sure. We all should be that lucky. And what about Stu? What about uh, Stu? Happy belated Father's Day, dog. Have a belated Father's Day. How was your Father's Appreciate Day? It, How was your Father's Day? It was good. It was good. Still a young father, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He be doing his thing. You know what I mean? He's a young, great father. Let me tell you, you're a better father than I was at that age. Seriously. <laughs> I do what I Hats can. Hats off to you, bro, for real. What you doing for Father's Day? Excuse me. I just went, uh, I went back home, visit my son, you know, visit with him, let him drive the Jeep. Took the doors off. That's what really. That's what really made him want to drive. I had the doors off, and he got in the passenger seat. And he was like, "It's like, Daddy, you think I could drive?" Yeah. Was, you couldn't say no. I couldn't say no. I was like, "I mean, let's start this thing up. Let's go." <laughs> Good thing around the block. And he enjoyed it. Oh yeah, he was he was loving that. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. My Father's Day was good. I was Father's Day. I was driving actually. I drove to Orlando, but dog. I had a good Father's Day the night before. Uh, I got, my fiance got me, I got this, see, I, I was gonna bring that in here, dog, but I wasn't gonna, I ain't, I ain't bring it, cause I wasn't gonna let y'all drink none. Cause of the bottle, you know what I'm saying? Damn, it's like, it's that. like yeah, but I wanted to bring it to show you, but I ain't, but I ain't wanna do it, cause then I probably would've had a Guyana shot. You know what I'm saying? What was it? Like this old expensive ass Jameson is aged like thirty years, eighteen years, and I looked it up and it was high. So, yeah, you know, I think it's like one of them shits where I just like take a shot just on Father's Day once a year or something. It's like one of them. Like as soon as you hit it, it's like it's like drinking water. So it, it just it a mess you. It, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. trouble. Yeah. You feel me, Jay? Huh? It's trouble, so. Mm. But other than that, it was good. I spent, I've been in the gym. I've been in the, in Orlando in for volleyball for like the last four days. So that's been good, watching them play. Same shit, a lot of ball shit going on. Well, we got the draft going on, right? Mm -hmm. Draft going on tonight. So what we, <laughs> I know y'all got uh, y'all fashion takes. Do we got fashion takes? Mm-hmm. Let's see. The first one we got was what you got? Odell. I think it was Odell and Devin Booker. Where is that? He finna pull it up. Where is that, Stu? Odell, no, and, Devin Odell and Devin Booker. Where, where was this? Odell at? Beckham and <laughs> Devin <laughs> Booker mm -hmm. at the at the NBA. I drive? think they had something going on where they were all like in Paris. I think it was like maybe, maybe fashion, fashion week or something. Yeah, mm. and everybody's oh. out there. I should have put Jalen Green's outfit on there. What a draft! They, they, they look like they had a baseball game right here. Uh, draft in New York. It's in Brooklyn. Mm. So who was that fashion week in Paris? Everybody. Uh, Everybody. This looked like a baseball game. 
No. Nah, Maybe Odell and Devin Booker is a baseball. Game. Okay, let me see. That is a softball. You know, game. it's so crazy, dog, because it's a lot like it. This, this, the fashion week shit, right? Like, that go on and like across the world, like Paris and all these places, Milan, like all these crazy places, right? <laughs> you know, where the mecca of, of, of fashion. And design. You know, and designs. Like, no, it's crazy. Like the more and more, it's a more. The they they it's a they they coming out the hood to go to uh to go to the fashion week. Everybody be yeah. there. You see all the rappers. They be rapping. Right, rapping there a lot of rappers there. Ball players now, well, the entertainers and actresses and actors they been going, but now it's like you know I saw a little baby or somebody was over there. It's all these cats going to the, the, it's getting a, it, well, is it a thing though or like you just go or, or are they really into that shit like that like some of the brands that like sponsor the fashion week they'll give some of like the celebrities and stuff that like so they can wear it out that there and show it off huh? yeah and like some people like they just go because like you know they, they got sponsor. the money they got the money like they got the clothes so like why not just go out to fashion week and like they've been buying the brands because they all ain't like Kanye. Kanye, like, he bought that shit. Kanye, Kanye. like, oh, yeah, he bought Kanye that got his shit. own that's shit. Like, that's, that's what I'm it. saying. Like, you feel me? Like, he Kanye, them they seem like they bought what they own. Kanye, I don't know who else though. Who else? Who else? Who else? Like, is an entertainer and stuff that's that's mm-hmm. on that, like, Kanye, like that. On the what you mean, tip. like, it, uh, you know, that'd be like. Cause Kanye got his own line. I was about to I say remember Kanye them talking about when he line. wanted to dress Kim Kardashian when they first got like Kanye be on that dress and shit. I mean, I guess you could say P Diddy, like Puff Daddy. For real. I guess him, but like he not really like into it as much because his branding already got like where it is. So, Sean like, John, yeah, yeah, Sean John, yeah, you right, boy. I used to have the Sean John uh <laughs> Valora sweatsuits, boy, when they first dropped. Yeah. I was on that. I used to love that Sean John shit. That's true. That big Sean John t shirt with them big jeans. <laughs> them the big, big jean shorts and jorts. That, that's, that's that was, what I'm that was saying. really some two thousand five, two thousand. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Everything <laughs> Sean clothes. John hit the shit. It was on. For real. What we got? Y'all ain't put nothing up there yet. What? 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 What a fashion from the NBA <laughs> draft fest, dude. Oh, get the fuck. Out. Working over here. I got. I got. You other like stuff. you on the phone? I got a lot of stuff you, going on. Nah, yo, you got to pay attention I'm to what you chips. doing here. Getting, what kind yeah. of shoes you got on? It ain't That's the clear one, so it shouldn't be a problem. Right. Man, who else we got on there? We, okay, Odell and hey. was at a baseball game. Who? Odell and then we got Odell. We got Gabrielle Union and D Wade. We got they at the, Do you they, want to they start the, the draft with the, the draft? draft pictures? Man, I want to see Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade. Click that one. at the it's thing. The it's in the dark. Cause yeah. I know they 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 gonna look. They were I fashionable. Think they were at, like the Fashion Week thing. They were what? I think they were like Fashion Week. Why are you looking like that? Uh, Pull them up, Stu. You gotta start giving you alcohol, dog. What's wrong? <laughs> Shouldn't have gave it to you, huh? Nah, it's not the lick. I was, uh, I was really. What talking, is it? I'm really talking to Lizzie over here. We, we. Who the hell is some, Lizzie? Got some production Lizzo. talks. Oh, Lizzo. Lizzo. Yeah, I'm talking. To Lizzo. Lizzo. <laughs> Dog, you can't work without Lizzo. No, I'm. I'm. We working on some other stuff. Nah, don't be working on no other stuff right now. <laughs> Look, I'm the full time producer. I gotta do producer stuff. Lizzo. Yeah, you gotta be able to multitask, I guess, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little man of many faces. So look, how we feel Trying about Ark? Up, yeah. How we feel about Ark since he's busy with his other job? How we feel about Ark though? How we feel? Did, you saw that news drop? Yeah. He's a Texas man. Boy chose Texas now. We think that's gonna stick. I think it's it gonna stick. Too. I mean, I would. I wouldn't think he would back off. Of I think it's gonna stick. But is anybody surprised? I, I mean, no, I wasn't. But I then once you like kind of sit in, I wasn't surprised anymore. I wasn't surprised at all. I knew I, it wasn't gonna be Bama. You thought it was gonna be Bama? No, I knew it wasn't gonna be. Well, I knew it wasn't gonna be Bama or LSU for sure, right? I thought it was always gonna come down to either, excuse me, Georgia or um, Texas. And look, this is how you know. I actually had the opportunity to see him play. Uh, I don't know if it was two or three Saturdays ago, 
over at LSU, mm-hmm. um, and they're seven on seven. Um, and I've seen him play a couple more times too, and I think he's a fantastic quarterback. I think he's going to be a fantastic uh, player at the college level. Pedigree is is unquestioned. Um, you know, goes all the way back to the great Archie Manning. So you know where and where the kid comes from. Um, and now you look at, you know, going to Texas, a lot of, a lot of <clears throat> intangibles, a lot of things for him. Now you got to see how Texas recruiting shapes out. Because him announcing that he's going to be attending the University of Texas, now does it start a snowball effect of guys now coming to Texas um, because, you know, man, people say whatever they want. The biggest, the biggest thing with this whole thing is the name on the back and the pedigree that this kid comes from and the demand that I would think that this family would have on just the grooming and the, the, the how much they would want to be, want to or not to, I could be wrong, be involved in just the development of – of, of, of the young quarterback. Um, so going to Texas where, you know, you pointed it out, Stu, he had a relationship with Sark from Alabama when he was at, you know, at a young age. Um, relationships mean a lot, man. They mean a lot. Also, you go into a filthy rich state in Texas where, you know, we all talk, we always talk about the oil money and that type of thing, but there's, the resources and what his uh, his name also brings to, you know, in his situation is like they're almost helping each other because he's coming with a great name as well, where his name also could help the University of Texas with his family and everybody being around and, and, the, and the, 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 the legacy and stuff that affiliated with him and all that. So... You know, you pointed it out, OP, Tesla's out there. Yeah, Tesla, Shell, Exxon, all of them have these big headquarters in Texas, and, like, they just keep moving. So that's why Texas A&M, like, they can do some of the same yeah, things as Texas. Yeah, yeah, 100%, 100%, 100%. And, you know, that, that, that goes into <sighs> recruiting. Yeah. Unfortunately, man, this is – you know, and you hear Coach Saban a couple weeks ago arguing, going back and forth and talking about um, this and that and Jackson State getting a guy and not getting the number one crew and Coach Saban getting all these recruits. Well, the same thing is, is, is happening to every institution across the country. You're getting you, these big-time recruits now based on what do you have on the table for them and what – monetary value you can give them or they can bring. Or, you know, in, in a lot of these cases, I'm sure you're going to see something come out with Art where it's something unprecedented as far as, like, what he receives, whether it's now or in the future. But, and, 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 and I had a talk the other day to a couple of my guys, and these kids, they are now, it's so, it's unprecedented, bro, because, you can set yourself up for your future before you even get out of college with these kids, with these deals that's on the table. And if you play your cards right and do things the right way, that's what happens for you when you're in a position of Arch Manning and all of these other big-time recruits across the country. And if LSU does not get our NIL situation straight and we don't get these people in line and in place to 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 – compete with these schools that have their shit together, we're going to see how high we get in recruiting. Because cause, cause if we don't get up to the a ms the Texas, the Alabamas, and you see Alabama's behind, but if you don't catch up and get with the A&Ms and, and the Texas, these guys that got this big money, these recruits, that's all they're looking towards, man. They're not... They're looking towards, one, how can I secure, and then, two, what the coaching institution looks like and how can I develop to get to the NFL. 
That's what the reality of the situation is nowadays. Period. You ready? You ready for us too? I got the D Wade and uh, Gabrielle Union picture up. The who? The D Wade Gabrielle Union picture. You wanna put it up there, dog? What is this from now? Uh, I think it's from the Fashion Week. Uh, this is from Fashion Week in where? Where's in that? Paris? Paris, I believe mm-hmm. so. Mm-hmm. So what do you think about this? Matching Prada, Prada, Prada dress, the Prada top, the D Wade. I think it's like. That's simple, like a real old nice. school fit though. That's some that's some nineties fit type thing right there. What what D Wade got the, on? The holes the holes in the shirt. That, that's, that's that ain't our style. Who got holes in the shirt? D Wade. Yeah. It's like a it's like a almost like a see through shirt. For mesh. real. It's mesh. Not mesh, but it could give off like he that, got mesh, that mesh material. What's that around his waist though? That's a belt. I think it's how the pants are made. Probably ties in the front. <laughs> and so what's going on with Gabrielle? How you feel about Gabrielle Union dress? I think it's it's pretty. It's simple. You can put a lot with it. What's some things hanging? What's those called? You don't know? Mm-mm. You don't wear dresses? It's nice though. I do wear dresses. So how I you got don't some know nice what that's dresses. called? You say you have nice dresses? You think you got nice everything though. Big, nice dress girl. What about sh- shoes? You got I nice shoes? I can put my picture up there. Of course. I got... Too many <laughs> Stu, you heard her? Yeah, I, I'm, not even, I'm not even playing with you. Y'all ain't yeah. see my Instagram post. Yo, who? Nice dress. My Instagram post. Y'all ain't see my nice dress. She's trying to shout herself out. She's trying to get some more followers I on can, the ground. I can Instagram. go ahead and drop the little picture in the uh, doc. You can put that up there. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. You put her Instagram picture out there. Let me see what the hell. You don't even want to see. Yeah, see they want to see. Y'all go back and forth all the time, dog. You... You want to put a, put your Instagram picture up there. I'm gonna just there now. Go. Don't get mad when people comment and say they don't like it though. Because <laughs> when you expose yourself, just know that. Don't get mad when the people comment though. I put it at the bottom of the uh, <laughs> for the real, huh? Op, for real. Shit, don't be commenting up bad on me. They don't comment bad on that picture. That picture real. Yeah, don't comment real up bad on me. All right, put the picture up, Stu. Hold on, it's making me sign into Instagram. I got. I got Whenever I can join. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's a lot it's going not, though. Yeah, it's not. It's not just like, straight in. The problem is, Stu is distracted, dog. No, he's not. He's not. Like, it's not. He's doing a lot of things at one time. That's what I'm saying. He's look, a, look, a this is what I get when you send me the link. In. In. He got to type you took in his your own pill from the doc. I'm just, I'm, he don't take you took your pill? I don't take that. That's the problem. <laughs> Don't need hey, it. they got other shit for that though. You ain't lying. Don't take that dog. Oh, he gonna be man. boring. Take that, he gonna be boring. <laughs> Don't take that though. First of all, what's the what's the what's the <laughs> oh god damn your top right? Stu, oh. Stu, what's the best thing happened to you today? Bed. The best thing that happened to me today? <laughs> yeah, today. I gotta take a nap earlier. But, I mean, that was cool. You don't usually take naps. I mean, not. I, I mean, yesterday I didn't get to take one because I had, to, had two shows yesterday. You rely on your naps. Yeah, I do. I be needing uh-huh. that. After that seven or nine slot, you need that nap. That nap is something that you might, you and that bed going to see each other. I might even see the couch sometimes. It's like football workout. Right. It's like, what, really like, that seven yeah, or nine slot, that's morning. like a workout. A morning workout. Mental? Mental workout. I'm about gotta, to say, you talking about like a football workout. I ain't oh, shit. No. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no. That's, that's mental and yeah, yeah, that's yeah, mental and physical. <laughs> yeah. In terms of time. Yeah, that, that morning, that look, that ain't nothing compared to a morning oh work. God. We don't even want to go back to that. Because I was about to say, 7 to 9 is late. Yep. <laughs> we used to work out. Really? 6 in the ball. morning. That's what I'm saying. 4.30. 6 to 10 We used to have court. to get up to run the track, though. Like, if you, with Coach D, like, if you ever, it was so fucked up. If you ever got in trouble, like, you know what I mean? If you ever did anything, miss class, anything like that. Hey, take a bunch of that. Oh, who he say? I, I, I don't know. He, I just think he says, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, 430s had up. to be out there at, 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 at the track, LSU track, and freaking running the, running, running around the track all the time. Now, nah, don't take it all, but you could take. Uh, I think three flights. Yeah. Three take flights. all that shit. Y'all had enough? I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, take it all. Take it all. You can take it all. We trying to get rid of that piece in here. Y'all excuse me for that. We always eat good in here. And you put up my picture. 
You want that picture up, oh, boy? Just, just email it to me. No, you, nah, no, no, no. I put can't pull picture, it up on nah, Instagram the, because I got to sign it into it. the Instagram. She got somebody. So she won't see that. She <laughs> wants somebody to see that damn. Somebody picture. in the chat looking. Somebody for she wants to see that picture. Send Stu that picture so we can get this picture up. Somebody Listen, dog. Everybody, when this send picture goes up, send it to where my dogs up, at. Email. Thank send you. it to where my dogs at. Okay. Thank you. And soon this picture go up, dog. Everybody, you done, listen. You done put it out there now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in the poll. Give you put a grade. it in the poll. Yeah, we grading this thing. Ooh, not a grade. We grading this thing. Don't be hot now. I know we not. This this is just pure it. for fun. But we grading this thing today. We gonna put this thing out there since she said she talking about she she all letting a bag of chips. Mm-hmm. Home. We she gonna cold. see what's going oh, on. She cold. <laughs> she cold. She cold. He cold as ice. <laughs> he cold as ice. Let's see. Put why it always take so long, dog, to well, get the technical get the email. You got the email? The technical yeah, stuff yeah. going on right here. So so what we think about the first pick in the draft tonight? I was surprised about he was going third. Uh, I, did I was surprised too. Did Houston pick Jabari Smith Jr. Yeah. yet? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey. They just swapped. The, the, Pelicans, first, the first, the first, the first the Pelicans on the clock right now. Pelicans got the fourth pick. No, they they got eight. Oh damn! I, we we was on off the air when I saw that. That's true. Pelicans got the eighth pick. That's good. Yeah. They get some value at eight on the clock. Let's see what, what the Pels need. They what really the Pels need, need? They really need a guard or another wing. All right, now you ready? <laughs> you ready? I'm hold ready. on, hold on, hold on. Before we put it up there. Before we put it up there, dog, you you show you want to do this. I'm sh- I'm positive. I'm very. You confident. show you want us to put it in the poll. I'm confident. This picture is. Listen, you show you want us to put it in the poll, though. They not gonna hate on me, and if they do, they just hate man. Me. Can I get an amen? Amen. Stu, you grading? Stu, hold on. <laughs> Drove. <laughs> Boom! Let it go. Let it Drop go. It. Drop it. <laughs> Woo! She cold. <laughs> oh, you want me to take the? the she cold. Yeah, drop cold. that. Bo- yeah. Ooh, she cold. She cold. <laughs> boy, this girl here crazy, boy. <laughs> she cold. Hey, you put the pole out. I'm about to put it up. Put the pole up, dog. Put the pole up. Ooh. Put the pole up, dog. Put the pole up. Now, you drop the pole. Huh? Let's see. All right. Put up there coal. Can you put that on there? Mm. Put put coal or not. Coal or not. <laughs> cold. All cold. right. Coal or not. I'm finna go comment on every single one of my Nah, own. don't be don't be trying. <laughs> don't be you know what you trying to do, Stu. You 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 trying to uh sway the voters. Don't be trying to sway the voters. Gonna hit you with that. What y'all said earlier, they gonna hit him with the Rico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, I'm so to do a sweep on. Hey, who and then also listen, whoever she really wanted to see this, there y'all go. Make sure you comment, whoever you are, it's so we chat. know too. This your chance, dog. Mm. Don't blow it. You on the clock, dog, because it's she put this up Ooh, there I for got you. Four votes. Everybody put it up said there. Cold. Don't cool. listen. We not done. We can we wait? Can you not tell us who's okay, leading? Because okay, okay. we know we're not gonna believe what you say, Jay. Because you, yeah, she higher on herself. Yeah, yeah. we ain't gonna believe what you say. Who else we got in in, in hot to, in um in the in the hot topics with oh, the fashion? Got the number now? one pick, Paulo Benchero. Oh, that's big boy out of Duke. Mm-hmm. That boy look like he Brazilian or something. Boy, fresh. Oh, what we think about it fit though? That boy got that purple on. You got that purple on. What'd I say? F five. I don't like, all the, I don't like all the diamonds. P five. It's it's like uh. Oh, that, what that know. mean for Pablo? Yeah, uh-huh. That what that mean? Mm-hmm. I don't really like that. That boy got on that Richard Miller. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, he fresh. He fresh. Hey, I don't like that chain though. I it's like the chain. Like, I don't like the the, the F five yeah, thing. It's a little big. It's P five. Oh, P five. Because his name. Pa- yeah, 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 yeah. That P five. Now you know what it is. It just like it. It's too much going on. Like yeah. it's it's the, blingy, the jacket, blingy. You feel me? 
Yeah, with the jacket, with the, with jacket, the yeah, too it's much. too much with the ice. With the, the other, you should yeah, 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 yeah. Way yeah, too yeah. much ice. Yeah, Wait, yeah. sometimes you could. Oh, he was too cold, dog. He was, he too was cold. He's he froze. was froze. He was <laughs> froze, froze, baby. He was froze. He was froze. But but he got lost in the sauce. <laughs> if he wouldn't have had the P five shit on there with just a little chain, yeah, that would have been cold. Cause the other little things on it look like they had ice on it yeah, or something, did. right? They yeah, it was ice too on much. Chain on that would have been nice. Yeah, just the chain. Take the piece off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was fresh. Our friend, who else we got? You got your boy Chet Holmgridge. Who? Chet Holmgridge. Where he at? Let me see that boy. Let me see that boy. Let me see that boy. Oh, not the ice chain. Yeah, boy, you know he that. that seven you know, he's net. swaggy. Yeah, Chet swaggy. Chet Swaggy, Chet Swaggy, I could dig it, I could dig it, yeah. Chet Swaggy, yeah, yeah, Richard he look like he got Richard the Richard Millie on huh? too, yeah, they, they them boys stunting, huh? they, 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 they got that bread though, yeah, he fresh, he fresh, that's Gonzaga, uh -huh. that's Gonzaga, yeah, Gonzaga was fresh, who else, who else, that's Gonzaga, that's the, only was, two, uh, that's the only two that was on, on Twitter, that's the only two they posted from, that's the only two that was on there so far, we got some funny they ain't, stuff though, they ain't show the boy, the uh, the who? We got some funny stuff though from the parade with Clay Thompson, Clay Thompson. and Jordan Poole. Hey, Jordan Poole heard, right now hold on, hold on. Y'all told me about one I hadn't seen, and y'all wanted my <laughs> reaction. Like I hadn't seen it because, like I said, listen, people. I, I know we don't here talking about this shit, but I've been in the volleyball gym, so you know, chilling, having a good time. So I haven't seen this. I don't even. And honestly, man, I ain't. I don't need really to watch the parade and shit like that anyway. Though mm -hmm. I guess I need to start to it, but I didn't. So. What y'all wanted me to see? Which one was it? It was where he tackled that fan. Hold on, just a It was something with Clay. This is where he dropped the ring. It was some. It was some this real was light, light his, guy stuff. This was him dropping his ring, looking like a sailor. Yeah, he got the sailor hat on because he dropped the championship hat on the boat. So he just put the sailor. He hat dropped on. it on. So he dropped the championship hat and the ring. Look at okay, it's been a replay. He What's going on right here? That's the, the parade. This is at the parade. He I ain't just, never seen people walk around. They usually be on the. They was on the float. I think they got off the float. Let them or they walk around. into the float. One or two. He walking to the float. So what? He that's the ring in his left hand. Mm -hmm. he, oh, he's finna drop. Yeah, it. he just dropped it. He just dropped it before. Who was that with him? I don't know. To, uh, it's not here. It go look. see. He dropped it. I'd have stepped on it and took it. Because I think he had him like on a chain. He dropped it and then kissed it. Cause it was finna be gone. Man. If it was me, I'd have took off running. Clay Thomas, Clay Thompson. Then show him the other one that he ain't seen yet. All right. Now this was after. Yeah, I ain't had to see this one. He, I don't, he the only one walking around. This one is crazy. This now, which one is this about. one? Oh shit! No. <laughs> Go back to the beginning, dog. Oh, he tripped. <laughs> just... Hey, he tripped. He... Oh, no. At least oh, he helped out. Yeah, at least he helped out, but he it wasn't real graceful, though. He he just he helped out. He knocked her feet. Yeah, he ain't really he helped. Was, he, 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 ain't try, he ain't really check on her for real, though. Go back. He was he too drunk. Yeah. You know he ain't ready to check. Boy, this boy here was off. See, that's why they don't need to let that boy out in public. That's embarrassing. That boy. Oh, no, Clay. He dropped the drink on her, too. Oh, no, Clay. That Jordan Poole one? That one's funny, too. <sighs> Where he at? <laughs> hey, he better be lucky, man. He um, he uh, ain't running to somebody that had that game together. Because he ran into somebody that had that game together, they wouldn't even got up. Oh, yeah, he was getting a check. They getting a him. check, baby. They getting a check. They getting a check, baby. <laughs> they, they breaking everything. Oh, they getting a check, they baby. They breaking everything right there on that. Man, as soon as I hit, as soon as I touch down, <laughs> my shoulder that separated. And I'm gonna pee on myself. <laughs> That's what they be thinking. Bro, <laughs> not the Once you do that, it's serious. It is. That's Cause he ain't really, really check on that woman, dog. He, nah, he, he did. Nah, he put. He, he kind of. Yeah, once he, good. yeah. See ya. He ain't pick a cup up or nothing. It was over with. Somebody give me another drink. Exactly. <laughs> Where's the duck float? You know what I mean? Nah, Clay was Clay was out of bounds for that. What's the other one we got? Uh, this your boy Jordan Poole. What he doing? Could find a baddie <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> he what? This young man can Look find a fine face. woman anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. Watch him walk up. Oh, he said. 
Look at his face. He really funny for that, man. He's cute. Hey, look. He is hilarious. Look at his face. But that's how he played the whole finals. When you see the women at the game, just know. Hey, that boy, got he got good taste in cigar, though. I see he got that Cohiba behind it, yeah. <laughs> Believe that. I mean, come on, they in so the NBA, it, bro. You got to, you know, they got the, they yeah, got the bread. Straight from Cuba. <laughs> yeah, but listen, man, that don't mean nothing all the time, dog. Cause I, cause, yeah, he about to get paid. Because I done seen a lot of cats. Hey, that don't mean nothing. They status, status, stay the same sometimes. Some cats just, you know, where they, where they come from is what they know. Cheap. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because like, I know I shit, dude, I was in that bitch. I wasn't buying no cigars for motherfucking $70, <laughs> $50 cigars. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that Y'all shit. Y'all got $10 cigars? Buy a whole box yeah, of I buy, nah, I mean, I got about like 20 you know what I'm saying? I buy a $20 cigar. Nah, I ain't no Duchess, man. We're not <laughs> stuffing them. I'm talking about cigars. <laughs> Big, cold, you know what I'm saying? Stogies. This boy say get some Duchess. <laughs> <laughs> get the whole box to come out with it. Get a whole bu- box get a whole for 12 The whole box. Whole box. Whole box. They 15 no? Oh, they 15 Yeah, they 15 no? Nah, I don't fool with Duchess, though. <laughs> man. They That. I was about to say, I, I thought she was talking about my swishes. I was about to say, no, that's Dallas. That's mm-hmm. Texas. My dad. Swishes. I'd be like, bro, put them up. Now, them 504s. That's, that's, <laughs> that's Louisiana. Dad, that's Louisiana. New Orleans. Right Swishers, so 504s. Like, Probably. That's Dallas, for real. Praline flavor. Like, they be having a Praline flavor. Ain't that tried, That's the one. I don't like flavors. I mean, yeah, you can just do regular OG, but. I had a, <laughs> a brownie flavor Dutch. I was like. Like a brownie? It was like that Java brownie. No, like the flavor. I'm more of a leaf guy. Yeah, I'm more. Dutch I'm is with pretty you. close. I'm with who? Dutch is pretty close. It is. It mm-hmm. is. And, it is. and uh, 504 is yeah, like a leaf. It is. Close ain't no cigar, it's, though. It's more of a close. cigar. Yeah. Well, you know, it's close. It, 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 it can use a little refined. It's just all about that. That shit burn face, though. That damn. That, that, that. Swisher from Texas. I got a partner. Twink Dog. Twink Dog, like, Twink Dog, Jeremy Lawrence is a real name, but he was one of the starting linebackers at LSU. He's a Texas boy. He's really from Faraday. But he's from, he, he'll tell you, he's from Faraday and Dallas. Love the Cowboys. So you and him will have something in common. Y'all both losers. Sad losers. Sad losers. She just threw up the X. It wasn't a catch. Sorry. It wasn't. It was not. <laughs> was not a no, catch. No, don't sit up here it and lie because y'all sat here in my face it and told me it wasn't a catch. Ago, it was a catch. Look how mad she no, gets about the Cowboys. We though. told you that <laughs> we said we Cowboys yes, fans are funny. by our standards. It was a catch, but by the how about them standard. Cowboys? How about them Cowgirls? <laughs> Not Better too much. yet. Not too much. Not Better too much. yet. I thought it was a good hey. weekend. And then I saw the Cowboys <laughs> lost today. <laughs> it was a great weekend. I'm finna go put on my jersey and go go to practice. I'm for real. They need right. you. They, they probably do need they, you. Hey, hey, I need I you at running back. They play. If they need you, there's a problem. <laughs> That's Jerry Jones, though. <laughs> I'm quick on my feet. Hit me up, Jerry. Call me. Hey, Z, put your number in the Z chat. Bob, I'll drop my number in the chat if you Z, need me. Put my I got number you. in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I got Z, you on defense. Zeke about ready to be out of there anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tony Pollard about to take his job. I'm his backup. I got him. Zeke about ready to go, so you could come in there, you know. <laughs> she gonna tote the rock. <laughs> <laughs> if we just talked to Toe. He could have gave you some some pointers. You should have asked Toe. Yeah, you should have asked Toe. You want to be a ro- look how you got no, Bro, no, no, nah, no. you that, <laughs> that straight peanut like punch material. Yeah, no, 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 no. You gotta put that. You gotta cover that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. All the like pressure points. All the pressure points. You gotta get the. <laughs> you know, Stu know all about the pressure points. You got the receivers. You gotta add them pressure gotta, points too as a receiver. You gotta tuck you gotta, that thing from the catch <laughs> to the tuck. It better be quick too. Quick. I never forget when Odell caught that pass on us. <laughs> Made him famous, him, really. I was like, from two fingers. I was like, who you was rooting? You was rooting for the Cowboys. Turn the game off. She's a Cowboys fan. Yeah, I know, but you, also I know you like Odell. So, were you rooting? He cold. You, I, no, hey, so I always liked Odell, but I think he was like real cute until the ESPYS when he dyed his hair back black and cut it off. I was like, he cold. She's in love with Odell. Just yes. Put to put it. Like whenever he dies, I think a lot of the women are. Yeah. But only when his hair is black. Whenever he dies, I'll be like, okay, he's still cute. But when it's black. It's something about that dark black hair. I just love it. Mm. It's a shame. 
<laughs> let's let's put a poll out there, dog. Dark hair Odell or blonde hair? I mean, blonde hair Odell was more like he was that. like a dog. You know that yeah. that was that dog. That's when he did the dog. That's when he was like he New York sports. Be handsome. Huh? That's when he was the face of New York sports. When he had the blonde? Yeah. He was hey, the face. That boy a monster now. Yeah, he, he was the boy a monster he, he now. Back in the, he back in that work too. He back in that work. Listen. Too. Brace off. Listen, He's, man. Let me tell you something. Guys like Odell Beckham, Floyd Mayweather, Tom Brady, um, what, what, what's Mike Tyson. Defense? Yeah. Tyson. What's the Von Miller? Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald, uh, what's the defensive back name? The gangster. And, Jalen, and Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey. The ga- oh, I love me some mm. Jalen Ramsey, boy. That boy be balling. You hey, tell me. Jalen Ramsey. <laughs> you the tell monster me. You like that. that boy, Listen, man, I never count them cats out, dog. And like Odell Beckham, cats like that, dog, the way they work, how they put their work in, how they amass that, they craft. That shit is not. By 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 joke or, or or by fluke, them boys like that for a reason, man. And something like that will happen to him in the in the in the in the biggest game of his life. Where, in my honest opinion, that boy was getting ready to tear that damn Super Bowl apart. He was going MVP. Man, that boy was going to get ready to go hamburger because that's what he do. Moments like that is his time. Like games like that, that's what you know. What I mean, he's a great great football player. But in moments, he's a moments guy, Odell Beckham. He's a moments guy. In the biggest moments, you always know. And everybody everybody can't do that shit, dog. Everybody can't be up for the moment. A lot of motherfuckers scared of the moment. You feel me? A lot of people scared of the moment and don't want to step into that moment or when it's time to make that catch, make that throw, whatever it may be. When you're an attorney, when you're in that closing arguments and you got to put it together and, and, and do what you got to do. ODB, that, that, oh, hey, OBJ want that thing. That boy want that thing. And, and there's no question in my mind that he going to come back ready, more determined, more everything than ever to get it done. The boy a monster. He needs to come back for me. What? Hmm? What you just said? No, say, say what you got to say. What she say? He need to come back for you. Absolutely. Man, that, listen. Odell, if you watching, I'm going to drop my number in the chat. Come back for her. Come, you know that man married. He's not married. They just go together. Nah, he got a go baby together. and everything. He got kids. They can break he, up. He, they might be a fiance or something. They listen. can break up. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> it's crazy as hell, man. But listen. I no doubt in my over and under. If I had to put put the form on that boy to come back, healthy and ready to go, I'm betting on I'm betting on that boy. The boy a monster, straight up. Absolutely. What you think, Stu? I know the monster. That's my dog. You know that's my. How that's you think like, he gonna come back though? I think I think he. I mean, they left him for dead, really, because he, he don't have a deal. He looking for revenge. He looking he's looking for a team. I love for him. I heard he was. Saints. I heard he was in Cincinnati. I love for, same. Oh, oh Lord! I heard he was in Cincinnati. Oh Lord! Back so with, look, with Joe, you, you let you let man. that you let that menace get another menace in that receiving core. Don't play with. Don't him. even worry about it. Don't even worry about the league championship MVPs. None of that because it's going to be Joe, Jamar, and Odell every year for the next three to five Ooh, years. Jesus, <laughs> you shouldn't have put this out of my head because that just made a that's a sense that's a crew. Me. Hey, but look, but look. Up there with with ain't T Higgs up T. there. T Higgins up there. That's what I'm trying to do. Tyler let me, Boyd. Let me tell you <laughs> like, something, dog. Joe Mixon. Let like, me tell you something, dog. They got dogs. You put Tyler Boyd, Chase, Swiggy Higgy, T Higgy, and OBJ. Oh Lord. And they got Jeez. Joe Mixon coming nice. out the backfield. And they got a cold tight end. Yeah, tight end wrong. Yeah. I thought I thought it was on. Oh, oh yeah, Uzma oh. did leave. It don't matter. Who's my dead leave? Dude, mm. who, is that, who is that backup? Hey, that's a nice, that's a nice uh, foursome though. That's a nice foursome, and especially with Joe. Joe's the catalyst. You know what I mean? But let me say this. Let me say this. If Joe want OBJ in Cincinnati, he'll be in Cincinnati. You know what I mean? If they and especially with him coming off of injury, I was thinking about the Saints, but that turf may not be the best thing for mm-hmm. him coming that's off you of tore that. It on. Yeah. yeah. It may not be the best thing for him, but I would love to see him 
in Cincinnati. I really would. Mm-hmm. That'd be that'd be. But I I wouldn't think they would sign him until like mid season because yeah. he won't he won't be back till November, yeah, later, October, November. Later, later. That'd be an awesome awesome feat though. But you know, even to come in that late, it'll be it'll, it'll take some time. Yeah, he'll have to be. But you know, man, the guy is such a freak and such a professional. Most importantly, yeah, could come in at that time and just fit into a handful of plays for a handful of explosive rock, yeah, explosive plays. Excuse me. So he could do it. He That's can. exactly what he did last year with the Rams. Mm-hmm. Like once Cleveland cut him, true. Yeah, yeah, you're 100. And right. I, and I think like Odell's professionalism gets lost in like the things that we talk about with Odell, like the antics, him slapping the goalposts or whatever, you know, like stuff like that. His professionalism really gets lost in that because, like, with the Cleveland stuff, he really could have came out a lot of times and said, look, this really ain't my fault. Like, you see what the product I'm getting at quarterback is, right. and I'm not getting much from that. Right. I'm I'm getting wide open, and he can't even give me the ball. His dad did a goofy his, video. But his, I mean, his dad did put out the video, and he might have been like, you know, you could throw it out there. I ain't got nothing, no, nothing right, to do right, with it. Right. But the fact that he didn't, like, really – come out and be like, look, this is Baker's fault. Like, this is his fault or that, that person's fault. Nobody. He didn't blame nobody. And Baker he just, was pointing fingers. Right. And Baker, Baker was, was the one was like, all right, like, it's, and my receivers ain't getting open. I know I'm not getting blocked and I'm hurt. Like, he had all kind of excuses in the world as to why he couldn't be a great quarterback. Right. And they drafted you number one, bro. Like, what what did you expect? Right. So, I mean, and you're right. me personally, I think Odell's a professional. That was a great video by his dad, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shit was off the chain. <laughs> And, and, and it really highlighted that shit, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it was like, and, and but you know what, uh, watching the shit was for it, though, bro, it's like, and then Baker, you know, when you young, bro, and you get drafted that high with all the expectations and all that shit, and you move around with this facade, like your shit don't stink, like you can't you know, do any wrong or take any blame for what's going on, which is how Baker seemed to me. I don't know him personally. It's how he seemed when I saw every press conference and everything he did uh, with OBJ when he was there. Bro, like, he, he, he has to understand that he didn't know this. And, and, and when you have a veteran, well, a veteran guy, a younger guy in Baker and OBJ, and also with OBJ being the guy not necessarily when it comes to football there but i mean we all know that he's a star yeah not just in the football realm but he's a star you know what i mean he's one of these people that you identify um as a star he was one of the highest paid sponsored athletes in 2016. exactly and 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 that that alone you know what i mean but he's in new york when you think about exactly Exactly, most important. And when you think about these stars of film and, and these uh, music stars, he's that's the kind of star yeah. he is. Like what Drake I'm mentioned him he's in almost universally, all universally, everyone knows him yeah. globally. You know what I mean? Everyone don't know every football player. No. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> You're right. You're you know helmet. Tom Brady. Right. You know what I'm saying? And like he's in that regards when, as far as when it comes to facial recognition. Yeah. So quarterback and a quarterback such as Baker Mayfield what he seems to be at the time to me I could that rubbed him the wrong way mm-hmm. the press coming in that running the OBJ not you in the locker room you know what I'm saying yeah people magazine and all these shit that's going on it's about it and you know on the team this quarterbacks usually the guy right yeah we all know Baker has an ego we can see yeah, it. on them commercials we I mean we could just see it when he yeah. fucking talk yeah I mean, and I'm not knocking college. them I'm not knocking it. It's part of what makes him who he is. I'm not knocking it at all, but I can see where the fucking head button could come into play. And you as a rookie quarterback, not knowing how to handle having this veteran star mm. now snatching this limelight from you. You know what I'm saying? You get to talking shit. You get to having that animosity build up whenever he drop a ball or just any, any little fucking thing that happens. You know what I mean? So... I could see how that could have been a problem and how that could have caused a riff and how that could have just shook some shit up in the locker room with, between those two guys. But if I had to bet on one, I'm betting on OBJ, dog. Straight up. Straight up. Because 
the thing that he's shown is he's shown the work ethic and he's shown that he can do it. And he's done it. So I'm betting on him all day, all night. OBJ over Baker Mayfield. <laughs> did we did we put the poll up? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, with Jay, the poll. We about to get up out of here. We're going to see where the poll at before we get she out of here. That thing. 86% to 14%. 86% cold. 14% not. That's Uh-oh. a B plus. In my book, we passing. Wow. Damn, that's how you feel? Check out. Look at her face. Wow. I'm trying hey. to show you. Eight, so 84% said cold 86. and 46. 86. It was 100 until somebody got on here hating. Who that was? You, Stu? It was him. I, I, it was not me. I did not even click on the poll. How many people voted? Do we know that? Seven. Yeah. That's not a lot. Well, seven people. We go, How long can we keep it up there? Until the show ends. We about to end. Right. Can we extend it somehow? You can put it on Twitter. You can put it on the Twitter and see how they feeling about you. I ain't scared. I know I'm cold. Are you that scared? She knows she's cold. Truth. Never scared. You scared for it to go on Twitter and get the vote? Odell might see it. So I'm not That's checking. even better. Put it on Twitter, Stu. Hey. You going to put it on Twitter? I am putting it on Twitter tonight. No, no. I'm about to put it on Twitter in a few. You just, just Put it on now. All right. Because you're going <laughs> to forget. But I want to see it. So how long we want to let it run for? You want to let it run to next Thursday? That's It don't matter. How long can we let it run? It's going to be on the Twitter. Like, it'll just be on the Twitter. We gonna let it put it on Twitter, Stu, and we gonna let it run until next show next Thursday. Follow my Instagram. And so, okay, what's the pet? So it could keep going down. It could go up or go down, right? That is true. Right. That is true, right? Mm-hmm. So what's passing? Over seventy percent. Over seventy percent. Over seventy. And y'all, and even if they hating it, and I don't be passing in my head, I know I'm still. Nah, nah, I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. I shit. got faith in myself. I'm you should. I'm gonna bet on me. You should yeah. have faith in yourself, but that's not what we talking about. We want to know the public's opinion. Okay. We want to hear people. We want to hear you. Okay. We want to hear the people. We don't want to hear what you think. We know what you think. It is. What Op. It is. Final words. <laughs> What's your final words? What's your final Ronnie? word? Oh, first, hold final on, word. first, hold on. Before your final word, what we calling her thing? Cold or not? Yeah. So what you think? Cold or not? She cold. Oh, look at OP gay. You said love. <laughs> gang, look gang, look gang. at OP. <laughs> yeah, OP. Yeah, OP. 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 Look down. Look at OP. That's a real. I, I, I fool with That's that. That's my boy. guy. That's my guy. Yeah. I'll be chilling, so. Be Cause y'all be going at it. He let down for you just now though. Stu, Stu, <laughs> hold on. Op, what's your final word before I go to Stu? What's your final word, dog? What you got for the people? What's your final word? My final you? word, man. Pelicans. <laughs> <laughs> Pelicans just took Dyson Daniels number eight, man. That's my final word. Well, Dyson Daniels, where you from? Oh, uh, Australia. Okay, forward. God. How big is it? Six eight. Ooh. Boy, these guards getting big, oh, huh, dog? Say six eight guard. Damn, six, eight. these that's, guards that's getting a forward big. Side. That's, that's, that's why I said fuck. <laughs> these, 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 what, these guards getting big. He, so he wasn't a college prospect. He was just a like a. a yeah, he was in the G he, League. Oh, all right. So they could pick like from the G League now. Like yeah. if you choose to go from like high school. Expect, to yeah, the yeah, G yeah, League, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's the stepping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I see. I see. There's like that ball. Shit that ball had mm. going on. Where you went overseas. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all right. So, yeah, good for the Pels. Oh, listen, man. All the Pels need to do is get that boy healthy, bro. Yeah. And yeah. all of you, because you saw for them boys making the playoffs, they got pieces. Yeah, he was they the just need a piece. star. He was the missing yeah, piece. Yeah, they just need a star. They just need that guy that can't nobody account for, that everybody needs on their team in the NBA. You can't win an NBA championship with regular guys. And I don't mean that with no disrespect to the guys that's in the league making millions of dollars because y'all ain't. Y'all in the percentage that's... But I'm talking about y'all ain't in that Zion Williams, that LeBron James category. And that's the guy that... that, that that's what Zion is, and that's what he, he means so much to the community, the city, and well as the damn team. So he get healthy along with everybody else they got around. They good, dog. Yeah. They good. They good. Stu. Cole... Or not with our homie. Cole. <laughs> you see that boy face? You know, 
Hey, Jay, you know he about to give you a hard time. You know? <laughs> we gonna see. Come on, Stu. Let me look at the photo. Look again. at I gotta, it. I gotta, I gotta put it back another, up there. Put it back I up. Gotta there. get another like another look at put, it. Put it back up there, dog. So Man, you, I didn't so get a good look at that. Go ahead, get Let's it back see. up there. Where you at in, in this mm-hmm. picture? I'm in Dallas. I'm at a... Like you on you. a date? No. It was for Father's Day. Father's Day break. Oh, you and Daddy? Me, That's my dad, awesome. and my sisters. I got to send a picture of all three of us. <laughs> <laughs> what you laughing about? Oh, I'm laughing bro. at Ron, bro. No, what you... I'm laughing at Ron. I don't have, oh, no, I don't have oh, nothing to do with this. Let's keep it PG. Let's keep it PG. We will. We shall. All right. Cold or not, please? Hmm. Let's see, I got, I still got it up on the computer right here, so I could look at it. Cold or not? Let's go. It's been up there a lot. You've looked at it a lot. She cold. She cold. Oh! <laughs> the boy showing you love in I here know, tonight. I I'm surprised. Goodness, me too. <laughs> I mean, like you know, them boys showing you love in here tonight. Them boys showing you so much love in here tonight. Okay, okay. So put it up. Put it on Twitter, and we're going to keep it up. Till next week? Yeah. And look, we're going to raise the bar, though. That's 70%. You're trying to hang on that 70%. We're not going to do that. It's at 88 right now. Oh. Well, that's good. We're going to see if it stays there. <laughs> We're going to raise the bar and say by next Thursday, Wait. it has to be over 75%. <laughs> and if it's over 75%, the guys are gonna chip in and get you the dinner of choice. Uh, dinner. Uh, you like to eat. I wanna hit She wanna get her nails done. You, you, you saw it. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. The guy's gonna chip in and get your nails done. That's fine. That ain't number fit, but like, listen, they gonna chip in and get your nails done. Yeah. Don't be looking at me like that because they Easy. not get. No, hold on, hold on, Easy. hold on. I ain't say they about to get you no sets and all this jail cap shit <laughs> yeah, and look, all that death. They gonna get chance to refill. Give me something to eat, man. Yeah, <laughs> they ain't about to spend no hundred dollars on you? your nails. <laughs> no, you know how them women do. You already know that. I got y'all, though. That's what I'm I got saying. y'all. That's why I cut that off. You tripping? <laughs> and powder finish and all that bullshit. Hell no. Nah. Jail. Jail. No, no jail. Yeah, we not, yeah, Hell we no. I see. That's what I'm talking about, dog. We try to put you out there to get you something that you up here. You trying to exploit these gentlemen? <laughs> exploit. Exactly. Exploitation. Ransom. <laughs> Man. You know. Boys hey, love me. Maybe somebody in the they chat do. might see your little song. Hey, if but they really like the picture. If, you know. if OBJ see so. it and like it, you ain't got to worry about it. All you need if is a like, like from it, him. Nobody. All you need is a like from him, and you won't need nothing else. I just got a new Cuban, and I don't want a link. Do what? Ooh. <laughs> you ever seen that video of Gunna? I just got a new Cuban and I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. <laughs> so look, let me ask you a question. If this man really was the comment on your thing. She won't know how to act. Would you I'm not going to tell nobody. Is you one of them people that like, if you was a sinner, you a faint? No. You, you gotta, ever see that? You got to hit. I got that little sparkle in my eyes. All I got to do is hit that little... That little blink, he gonna look. He gonna you look. You got what? Sounds great. You got, got that little, that little sparkle. Eye. Them eyes. Who, who's telling you all this? <laughs> Don't nobody gotta tell me. I just who know. You? If you know, you know. <laughs> who's what do you telling mean if you, you know, you know? <laughs> Somebody has to tell you like. Where you got this from? <laughs> yeah, where you getting this from? I mean, people tell me I look good. I know I look good. No. I'm not talking about no looking good. I'm talking about who told you about the sparkle oh, in your eyes? All I gotta do is just look and you took. If, I, if he look, he took. Bars. For real. Look, he took bars. <laughs> Jay, Jay, I live my reps. Bars. Mm-hmm. We're going to have to get in the booth and let her drop 16. Tell her if we look, he took. What's wrong with you? And if, somebody if, told if, you got a twinkle I in mean, your damn mind. My saying is, if she grin, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I won't If you smile. look, you... Hey, if he look, he took. Jordy, listen, check this out, dog. I need shirts. If he look, he took. And, and, if she he, grin, and if she grin, I'm, I'm in. in. <laughs> you heard me. What you got, OP shit? Man, I don't be saying no sayings. I be chilling, man. I just go with it. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, you know what? I believe OP. <laughs> I just go with it, man. I believe OP. <laughs> OP started telling me about his weekend and stopped. <laughs> then told me it was great. It was. 
That's all you need to know. That's all I need to know. <laughs> that little details that I need. Mine was you know, pretty good too. Need, yours was pretty good. Father's Day. <laughs> Father's Day. The whole the whole weekend though was was up. It was good. It was good. So Friday was up. Friday was up. Saturday was up. Uh, yeah, Saturday was up. You was out here. Or you was back home. I was back home. And Father's Day was up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Father's Day evening was up. Yep. Father's Day night was up. Went to visit my pops. Had and a few Jay, brews you went with out with dad. It Shut was up. up. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Shout out to all you fathers. Happy belated Father's Day. And look, where my dog Zat for the crew, Stu, O-Peasy. What we gonna call J dog? We gotta get J money. money. I was Jay about to say J money. We been on that on that train. J baby. We gotta get you a we gotta get you a horn. Oh, okay. President Mill. Oh, okay. President Mill. President Mill. Who? President Mill. That's President Mill. I like that one. President Mill. Mine used to be Dollar Mills. Dollar Mill. Dollar 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 Mill, y'all. Dollar Mill. Jamillionaire. Jamil- I, don't like I got Jamil- some nicknames. Get rid of Jamil- <laughs> Yeah, Jamil- like Jamil- Jamil- Let's throw Jamil- that one out. <laughs> That's chameleon that shit. That's yeah. what I sound Jamil- like. Jamil- get rid of that. Dollar Mills sound uh, like Dollar Mills. President Dollar Mills. Mills. What was the first one? J Money. J Money. I like J Money. I like J Money. I like J Money. I like J Money. Like 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 all right. All right. I like all right. All right. All right. I like J Money. I can fuck with J Money. I like J Money. That's your name, not J Money. Hey, y'all get in there and vote on me. J money. 89% right now. That's all right. You got a hold <laughs> three days ago. You gonna fizzle out. You know how it be at the beginning. Shit get hot. Then you fizzle mm, out. You go know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all get on and vote, man. So so we we're not doing a, um no damn that nail expensive shit. We're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not doing that. We're doing the food. Or listen, we're just gonna cap it off at fifty. That's all. We 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 poke yeah. around here. We ain't, fifty dollar cap. Yeah, fifty. We broke around here. We ain't trying to. We we listen. You'll be all right. Fifty can go to a lot. I know, but look, it'll get up. Just look where you starting at. Fifty is the floor. That's pretty good. Yeah. We gonna go up from there. Once we re up in August, then look, you shit. You might get a meal. And your nails done. You never know. A, f- a refill. Yeah. A refill. <laughs> what if I need a full set? What? What if I need a full set? That's about, about six. You got five. a man? It ain't See? Going, nah. I, I, I don't think it's going. <laughs> it, think now that she have been talking about OBJ? <laughs> what that mean? He know. He know. Oh, he all right with it? All right. That's the same uh, thing as me saying Rihanna, my girl. And she got pregnant really for go another together. dude. But y'all don't really go We together. did go together. Don't play with me. You yeah, and who? Me and Rihanna. That was my y'all girl. Y'all Bro. See, but it, you know, when did she drop you for ASAP? I mean, like this was like in like COVID year, you know, COVID year what? happened. <laughs> oh, cause we, y'all was apart. Yeah, we couldn't see each other part. that much. And you it won was, in New York. Yeah, and it was like, you know, I can't that be boy out slid there. in you on you right quick. I mean, that's all you know, I mean. that's how it happened though. Right, exactly. I, I wasn't gonna, tripping. That's how it happened you though. Know, it was I mean, a good time. You in a whole another state, but I mean, no, you can't get mad. I know. You it's can't cool. get mad. You was, you know, you can't get mad. It was good while it lasted. It was. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. That's all you got to do. Beautiful woman. Mm. Hey, listen. Good while it lasted, dog. Just, you know, go with it. <laughs> go with it. Next time, catch COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Just catch it next time and go. Just go. Drive. You like to drive? Drive. I Jump do in the like Jeep to drive. And go. Hey, but look. Next week, man, we'll be up for Stu, OP, J Money. Y'all make sure y'all go vote on J Money, for real. She got to be over. Listen, I ain't even tell you the number. You got to be over 75%. Okay. All right? That's cool? 75%, we're going to take care of her. See y'all next week on where my ho, ho, ho dogs at. No, you're not gonna get over 75. I'm already at 89. Yeah, but it's-